You see, when you understand the need of a savior, you're not going to deny Jesus. You're going to know who Jesus is when you see his character. How would you know who God is if you've never seen him? Well, you know who he is by his attributes. You know who he is by his characteristics. If I was about, if I was dating someone online for a few years and I'd never seen their face, but they told me all about them. They said, oh, I like to wear red. I'm about six feet tall. I wear gold all around my chest and all around my neck. I got tattoos on my, on my cheek. And I love to swear. Okay, well guess what? And, and if they said, I'm gonna show up one day at this town hall in this square in Montreal. And it's gonna be around this time. So if I really wanted to meet that person, I, don't, I mean, I described somebody that most people wouldn't wanna be with. But let's just say I wanted to be with a, with a gangster chick. All right, and that girl was that gangster chick. I'm gonna go around that area, be looking for that girl in red with the tattoos. I'm gonna be listening for somebody that has a cursing and a foul language coming out of their mouth. I'm gonna be looking for someone with gold because this person told me what they look like. I wanna let you know something. When you look inside the Bible and you look at the characteristics of God, we see that God is holy. Guess what? Jesus was the only man that could claim to be holy. That ever lived. That's important. Because if God's beyond creation and no man has seen him, then we would expect that somebody, if he was ever to step into this world, would have that same characteristic of holiness. Jesus had the characteristic. God has authority over the wind and the waves. And there was only one person that existed that has authority over the wind and the waves, and his name was Jesus. The Bible says there's only one creator, but there was one through whom all things were created according to Ephesians, according to Colossians, according to Hebrews, according to John chapter 1, and his name was Jesus. There was one who's called the first and the last, and there was one who is called the first of all creation, the preeminent one, the one that was in the beginning with God, and his name was Jesus. No wonder he's also called the first and the last. There is someone that said in the word of God, forget not all my benefits, for I forgive sins and heal all your diseases. Well, there was someone that came up to Jesus and said, thy sins be forgiven. And he healed their disease. He said, pick up your mat and walk. And his name was Jesus. All the characteristics that God had revealed about himself was found in a person named Jesus. Now, you can speculate, you can argue, you can wonder, but the Bible explains it. It says in the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God and the Word was God. All things were made through him. There was nothing made that was not made through him. All things were made through him. His name is Jesus. And in these last days, he decided to speak this message through his son, who's the express image of his person. Where the Bible says, to which of the angels has he ever said, thou art my son, this day I have begotten thee. To which of the angels has he said, thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. To which of the angels? The answer is none. There is none other that can take the place of Jesus. There is none other that fits the bill of the Messiah. This is why we call him the Word of God. 